Thank you for joining us. This is Serious Matters on NFTV. Ah, man, I just heard this one. Oh. The former governor of Zamfara State, Diari, where uh, him and uh, where they, you know, struggle for the seat of uh, Senate presidency, don't land for hospital for inside London, UK. Oh. No, be me tell you, eh? Uh, now, serious matter. Oh. Uh, so, the man don't land for inside hospital now. They say the man lose like 72 million, million, million dollars. Uh, we don't take bribe him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they carry money. <laughs> they collect money. Now so the man don't land for hospital. Now nobody's no be laughing at all. Uh -huh. Now on top uh, Sarah reporters, credit to Sarah reporters. Now they tell me this thing now. Say make a talk on top uh, for top serious matters. Thank you very much for joining us. This is serious matters here at Tony TV. My name is Olukun Lebra. Let's take this particular one out. Well, former governor of Zamfara State, Abdul Aziz Yari, last week ended up in a London hospital, United Kingdom. Shortly after losing the Senate uh, presidential bid to Godsway Apabio. Well, sources told Sarah reporters, credit to Sarah reporters on this particular one, on Monday that Yari lost at least, at least, that means it could be more, at least $72 million. And the point is, these guys have so much money, but they can't be, they can't be recorded on Forbes. They can't be, because they can't account for where they got the money. They can't tell us, they can't come out openly to say, oh, this is how I made my money and this is how I became rich and this. That's why. That's why somebody will be able to spend, person will spend $72 million. You know what he get. And the point is, for you to have spent so much, I mean, it's seen as an investment. And one will continue to wonder, oh, is he... I mean, is he up to something? Is he going to get something out of it? I don't, I, I don't know if you get what I'm trying to say. Yes, but because he's truly an investment. And if somebody invests $72 million, you know how much he's looking forward to getting out of that place. Hey, um, after being governor. <sighs> oh, this tiffin, tiffin business in Nigeria must stop. It must stop. Yari lost at least $72 million in the process as he gave Senate's at least $500,000 each to secure their votes. It was, however, learned that some of the senators who were paid by Yari ditched him at the last minute, landing the former governor in the foreign hospital. Uh, well, I think one of the... Uh, well, don't let us go there yet. Akpabi, a former governor and also a former minister of Niger Delta Affairs, was last Tuesday elected as the Senate president during the inauguration of the 10th Senate. <laughs> Out of the 109 Senate in the upper legislative chamber of the National Assembly, Akpabio, in the all pro of the uh, an all progressive Congress lawmaker from Akwa Ibom South South won with 63 votes. Senator Abdulaziz Yari from Zamfara Northwest, who is also of the APC, got 46 votes. I think he tried. He did not just win. Uh, there are two different things. Okay, let's go on. Akpabio was the anointed candidate of the of the president, well, right, of President Balatinobu. So he was also favored by the APC zoning arrangement. I think that was more reason why that man got him um, more uh more 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 votes, you know. Um I think that's that's that accounts uh that accounts for why he got more uh more more votes on that one. Well, I don't want us to go too far on this matter before we start talking about it. I want us to talk about it all. Eh? Look, look, I've, I've been thinking about it. That somebody will spend $72 million. You know, and the person said, at least, at least, that means there's a possibility that it might be more. $72 million. Dash people. No one. <laughs> I should say, nah, nah, money, nah, that, uh, that Labour Party rep, nah, money, the guy say. I know it's not this idea. Well, now money, the guy see when he say the guy does, the guy does see money, the guy does the change voice. Uh, the guy will never see money before. You know, so one of them now, our kind of man, eh? Now our kind of man, don't, we for don't see money now. Now, now the voice don't, the, the voice will don't the change. You see, you see, you see, you see. There is no party that cannot rule this country. There is no party. There is no party. When you see money, voice change. Ah, God have mercy on people. This spirit of money, this spirit of money. I bind you. I bind you. I bind you. I bind you. I bind that spirit of money. You know, but money must work for me, and that's the way. That's the way it's supposed to be. Money is supposed to work uh, for you. He already landed in the hospital after he lost at least seventy-two million dollars. Who received? I mean, to senators who received at least five hundred thousand dollars from him and ditched him at the last minute. Also, his campaign director of operations, Jimo Ibrahim, who was put in charge of the distribution of the funds and gadgets like branded gold-plated iPhone 14 to senators reported 
Lee scammed him. Gold pleated phones. Some senators met Jimo Ibrahim in suits at Hilton Hotel in Abuja, but Ibrahim did not fully deliver their entitlement to them. Yeah, so I sure said I want to lobby some. It's still hundred dollar, three hundred thousand dollar that I say I should give you. It's three hundred thousand dollars that I say I should give you. It's three hundred. Just call up one fifty, call up one hundred, call up one fifty, call up one hundred, call up one fifty. Call ah ah, um, no wonder nothing is getting to the common man. Eh, no wonder, no wonder people they suffer. You know, they send ten people. They they they, they send somebody from top. Say, uh, oh yeah, give them give them one hundred thousand. Say, okay, sir, you collect the one hundred thousand. Come out ten, come out um, forty thousand out of it, and give the next person. Make sure you give them this sixty thousand. That is what they said I should give them. They want to look and say, ah, me say no go game from this. Come out come out fifteen. He remain forty five. So give it to the next person. Make sure you win. And by the time they reach, by the time they reach, they reach grassroots, they don't remain two thousand there. Waiting that one for you do. Mm. Where? Sarah report has learnt that Yari arrived in London from Abuja on a British Airways flight last Friday and soon landed immediately in the hospital. And so, uh, where, uh, however, sources could not confirm uh, to us if the senator had left the hospital and returned to Nigeria yet. Last Friday, Yari was quoted to as saying if he knew he was not contesting against only Apabio and would not win, he would have participated in the election in her that was in an interview with bbc Abi, uh Aousa. he lamented that there was an uh, a gang up of some top government officials against him uh he said from his analysis from the election he had more people on his side adding that he didn't contest against apabio i mean that that's very that's that's also very very uh very very key he said he didn't contest again against Apabio. According to Yari, if he knew he would not be up against Apabio alone, he would not have joined the rest. Yari said he contested against President Tinubu, Vice President Kashim Shetima, Secretaries of the Government of the Federation, Governors, and some other top government. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Please feel free to drop your comment. Make them simple as simple. Well, sorry to Governor, uh, former Governor Yari yeah, Zambra says Yari. I hope that he gets well very, very quickly and then come back to uh, join us. Of course, take over his seat. You know. Uh, well, this is still serious matters at Tony TV. Please do drop your comment. Make them simple as simple. Thank you very much for, for watching. God bless you. Bye bye.